everyone, and welcome back to the NASCAR History Series. For those who missed the seventh episode about the life of Rex White, or any of the previous episodes, I'll leave the links in the description. I also invite you to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss upcoming videos. This eighth episode is about Gentleman Ned Jarrett, so-called because of his sweet demeanor. Born on October 12, 1932, near Hickory Motor Speedway in North Carolina, Ned learned to drive the family car on the way to church when he was just nine years old. He got his start in racing in the Sportsman Series in 1952 at Hickory, and was the track champion in 1955. Ned Jarrett won back-to-back -back Sportsman Series championships in 1957 and 1958. Although he made his first Grand National Series start in the 1953 Southern 500 at Darlington Raceway, Jarrett did not race full-time in NASCAR's top circuit until 1960. He won five races that year and finished in fifth place for the season. Ned only won one race in 1961, but he had 34 top 10 finishes, which earned him enough points to secure his first championship. Jarrett finished in the top five in the final standings over the next three years as he racked up the wins. He won 15 races in 1964 and was runner-up to Richard Petty for the championship, but tragedy struck at the World 600 in Charlotte. Jarrett and Junior Johnson crashed and Fireball Roberts crashed trying to avoid them. Both Jarrett's car and Roberts' car burst into flames. Ned pulled Fireball out of his car and he was rushed to the hospital, but he died. Although they raced another full season, Jared and Johnson retired at the end of 1966. It wasn't a direct cause, but both men have stated that the death of Fireball Roberts was part of the reason they retired. Tragedy struck another driver in 1965, as rookie Buren Skeen died early in a crash in the Southern 500 at Darlington. Of course, in those days, they just went on and finished the race. Ned Jarrett went on to set one of those NASCAR records that would likely never be broken, with there being so much parity in the sport now. Ned won the race by 14 laps, which was a little over 19 miles, the largest margin of victory in NASCAR history. Jarrett won 13 races that year for a two-year total of 28 and won his second championship. He also finished in the top five an incredible 42 times. After a 50-win NASCAR Hall of Fame career, Ned Jarrett transitioned to the broadcasting booth. His long successful career included Motor Racing Network Radio, CBS, and ESPN. Jarrett was fortunate enough to be able to call his son Dale's first career win at Michigan in 1991, as well as his first Daytona 500 win in 1993. At the end of the Daytona race, Ned had a little trouble remaining impartial. He said, Here he comes, Earnhardt, it's the Dale and Dale show as we come off of turn four. You know who I'm pulling for, it's Dale Jarrett. Bring it to the inside, Dale, don't let him get down there. He's gonna make it, Dale Jarrett's gonna win the Daytona 500. Jarrett tried to apologize to Earnhardt after the race, but Earnhardt said, I'm a father too. 